Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor-in-chief at the serverside.com, and I want to quickly show you how to install Java on Ubuntu with apt. Starting off, the first thing you want to do is just make sure that Java isn't installed already. So open up terminal, issue a Java version command, and make sure that it says Java not found. Otherwise, Java will be installed. Now, you'll notice that I've got a couple of options here. Uh, open JDK 17, 18, headless, default JRE. I'm actually going to install the JDK, but not after first doing a sudo apt get update. I always like to do that just to be sure I've got all the latest packages. Not only ever takes a second, so there we go, we're done. Um, and then I'm going to issue this command. You notice this is default JRE up there. I'm going to issue this command, sudo apt install default JDK. And the JDK is not only going to install a Java runtime environment for me, but it's also going to install a bunch of utilities that allow me to write code and compile code. If you only want to run Java programs, you can actually just do sudo apt install default JRE a slightly smaller installation, but if you're not preparing your Ubuntu environment to host microservices or enterprise applications where you need every single megabyte available, just install the JDK. Okay, and the sudo apt install default JDK command ran successfully. That tells me that, well, Java is installed on Ubuntu with that app command. Now, can I confirm this? Yeah, I can. I can just type in a Java dash version. And boom, you notice that it tells me that open JDK version 11 is installed. Let me run that one more time. Java version. There we go. We see all of the Java goodness right there. JDK 11, uh, 2022 version runtime environment. So everything's good. Now you can run Java commands here. You know, you can even do Java C version to see what version of the compiler is installed as well if you really want to. Um, but otherwise Java is installed. You can now start running Java programs. But you know, there's one thing that people like to do before they've kind of finished up with the Java install. They like to set Java home. So you'll notice if I do this echo Java home command, nothing comes up. A lot of programs like Tomcat or Kafka, they look for Java Home when they start up. Minecraft does too. So uh, you want to set Java Home. Now, if you want to set Java Home, you have to know where Java is installed. So you do a little update alternatives, config Java. Now you got to spell it correctly. And here it tells me that Java is installed in this folder location right here user lib JVM Java. So I'm going to copy that. And then I'm going to open up the environment file with nano. So go etc environment. And you can see the etsy environment file has opened up. And I'm going to just type in here, Java home, pronounced with all uppercase letters. And I'm going to paste right in there inside the quotes, click control O, enter control X to exit. And now I've actually set Java home as well. And if I echo dollar sign, Oh, I was going to no, I can't do it now. Have to reload the file, do a little source at C environment. And then after that echo Java home. And now It'll actually tell you that Java Home is set and it's set into that location right there. And there you go. That's all you have to do to install Java on Ubuntu with apt. Now, if you enjoyed that tutorial, why don't you head over to the serverside.com. I'm the editor in chief over there. We've got lots of great tutorials on Java, Ubuntu, software development, DevOps, microservices, you name it. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can always follow me on Twitter at Cameron MCNZ. And finally, why don't you subscribe on YouTube?